look at my face. I mean, look at this wing. Welcome back to another video. Ooh, I'm so excited. You guys, this is a get ready with me. It feels like I haven't done a get ready with me in a very long time. So um, I'm not complete with my hair yet. My hair is not complete. But I'm going to finish my hair when I'm done with my face. So come closer. Hey. <laughs> I feel good because I'm doing a get ready with me. I'm going out tonight. So, it's only right to give y'all a look, you know, a whole full look. Shout out again to um, one of my baby dolls for sending me this. Um, she sent me a whole bunch of other things in the package with her brand, but I just love how my name is on here and I'm actually using it. I love stuff like this, so if you watching, I'm using it, girl. I'm excited because y'all look, I got some new stuff. I'm so happy y'all like y'all don't understand because I've been wanting to pick up some new stuff for a minute and I've been I've been trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to pick up so here we are can't wait to show y'all so for my brows I did pick up elf ultra precise brow pencil in the shade neutral brown now this is not technically anything new and this is not a new product I've used this before but a new pickup that I purchased so I'll be using this today I have a new concealer too but for my brows I won't be using the concealer that concealer I'll be using my Neutrogena concealer for my brows okay I got me some primer I got me some primer y'all and this is by milk makeup this is actually my first purchase from um, by milk a lot of people rave about them and I'm so excited that I'm trying them today so this is the Hydro Grip Primer. Hydro Grip Primer. And people talk about how good this is. And I knew it was good because there was no... I was trying to get the smaller bottles just to test it out to see if I like it. But they were gone. A lot of their stuff was out of stock. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> I ain't trying to be... I ain't trying to sound crazy. I ain't trying to sound crazy or nothing like that, but this gave off to me like lube. <laughs> it was giving lube when I had tested on me, on myself. I'm like, what the fuck? This is giving lube. Lubricant. Because look how it comes out. Yeah. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I spent money now. Look how it comes out. Like, it's very... Now I'm getting sexual with makeup. I'm going to apply this all over. Like, it feels like, I don't want to say glue, but like glue. Lubricant. But you put it on your face. Let me find out. Let me find out y'all just use lubricant and we just put it on our face. I don't know if y'all ever experienced with lubricant before, but... If you know, you know. Look at that. I want to keep going, but I know I don't. I know I don't need too much of this. And I love how it comes. I love the pump. I love how I can see through it and see how much I have left. You know. Oh, that's stuck. Okay, I think I put too much on. Let me not overdo it. So while this is sitting, make sure you get your neck too. It feels sticky, but it's not, it's not an uncomfortable sticky at all.
got like my I had to stop for a minute it already is like making my concealer stick like I did apply some on my forehead and it's like while I'm I can't even describe it while I'm like putting this concealer on child it's sticking like you got to make sure when you're doing your face foundation or whatever you got to make sure you blending and not taking too long to blend because child is gonna grip it like literally grip primer is gripping your shit <laughs> it's gripping honey so it's sticking all day and night let me find Ow. the hype is real all right y'all so i'm going to finish my other brow let me blend this out so far so good so i'm about to do this brow off camera and then come back to you guys when they're both done okay you guys so my brows are done see me I did apply a lighter concealer underneath the brow bone area here and this is in the shade toffee I always take toffee last just underneath the brow I don't know if I want to do my um, foundation first like apply my foundation then my eyeshadow or my eyeshadow did my foundation sometimes it just depends on how I feel to be honest with you guys I'm keeping it simple as far as my eyeshadow I'm gonna use my morphe truth or dare I love this palette this is a really good purchase if you know you know period so I am gonna apply a little bit more of that concealer blend this out Sorry, if you guys hear noise, my window is open right here again. For some reason, I be getting hot when I'm doing my makeup. Is this just me? And I got this robe on, so, you know. But I take this as my transition. My transition shade. Let's start with that first. I have an idea of where I'm going with this. I do. I do. I do. I do. So keep me there beside you, honey. take I'm gonna place that over the transition but I'm still making sure it's visible so I'll be going back and forth and blending both out and I'm taking it mostly in the crease in with I see that I'm going in with this every time I use this palette I use something new that I haven't used before and every time I do I always be amazed like it's my first time using the palette well it, it kind of be like the first time when you're using um, a different shadow in the palette you know what I mean so that's what I mean about like buying so many eyeshadows. I was talking about this in my last video. Like we don't even get to all the eyeshadows that's in the palette. And we buy all these eyeshadow palettes, you know. Play around with it. Have fun with what you got because you can get the same look. But sometimes it just be a waste. And I've learned that with eyeshadow. Now with concealers and foundations, that's different. To me, that's just a little different. If you know, you know. And of course, lip gloss. I'm going to always purchase me some lip gloss, honey. Some lipsticks, lip glosses. But I had to slow down with that too because all I be buying is nudes. And 
they be giving the same thing, but at the same time, they don't. You know, it's, makeup is just so tricky. It be Makeup is just something else. Like, it makes you feel like you have to get it. Now, I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm hyped because I got a new eyeliner. And y'all know how I feel about eyeliners. <sighs> NYX basically dis discontinued my eyeliner that I truly, truly love. And I'm so heartbroken. But not for long because I got me some Fenty Beauty eyeliner. It's called Fly Liner. So while I'm in there, you know, I like the blackest of the blackest of the blackest eyeliner. I, I need my eyeliner to really come off that real black. Okay. And I found this one. And I'm like, what the fuck? What have I been waiting on? And I usually, like, everybody don't do liquid liners where it's not a pen. So it's very hard for me to find an eyeliner that's not a pen. So every time I see a pen, I run from it because... I've tried pins before and it's it just always failed me. It just was never working for me. So, but I got a pin from Fenty and I'm like, okay, I'll let her pass. Cool. So when I swashed it, I'm like, yo, what the fuck have I been waiting on? Look at this tip. Do you see the tip? It's so sharp. It was. It's gonna give you that nice. I'm, I'm excited. Let's let's do it, y'all. I know it's gonna give me a nice wing. The shade is cause I'm black. Period. Fancy. Ray Ray. You did that. I disrespected you and I'm, I don't want to apologize what the fuck so I got some lashes recently from my PO box so I'm going to use these um, this is the brand right here so check them out Icy okay, Icy and then this is their information in the back okay so thank you for sending me these my way I was looking at the at these pair here these caught my eye I'm like oh my god these are so freaking pretty before I put on this other lash one thing I want to say is that I like the Fenty don't get me wrong but it's still something that I love about the NYX so I was waiting for it to dry for it to dry and settle in, but it still has like that eyeliner look where it looks glossy, where it doesn't dry completely matte, like just black matte. And that's the reason why I stick to what I love. But I will always continue trying new things. I don't hate it. Um, I just like the finish of the NYX better. You feel me? But this is some great eyeliner, easy to apply. Um, I have tried other um, liner pens where they the tip wasn't sharp enough. You know, it doesn't really give you a sharp wing like it should. So, so far, this has been the best eyeliner pen that I've ever used. Let me just say that. Y'all, these lashes is fire. These are in the style, I'm sorry, Tierra. Love them. Send me more. If you're watching this, if you see this, send me more, girl. I'm definitely going to be wearing them. <laughs> these are my favorite. I need a couple of these. couple of this style. The other ones are pretty, too. I can't wait to try those. But These look like actual mink, um, mink lashes. Uh, the individual ones the ones you sit for like two hours to get these look like those but these just 
got put on in 2.5 seconds. Okay. Y'all ready for the foundation? Y'all ready? I got me the Tarte High Performance Face Tape Foundation. And a lot of people rave about this foundation, okay? And I'm so excited. This is like my number one excitement of the whole thing. And also something else too, y'all. Let's see that. This is Deep Golden. It modifies, hydrates, and smooths. Full coverage, natural matte finish, which, you know, your girl love. 12-hour power, transfer proof, waterproof, sweat proof. This ain't no... This, 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 this ain't no game, okay? Cross my fingers. I got the right shade when I was in the store. I did swatch it. I didn't get this one from Sephora. I actually got this from Target, y'all. And I know y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? Tarte is in Target now? No. Alta Beauty is in Target now. So if y'all don't know about, about Alta Beauty being in Target, I'm gonna let you know. Not all um targets or locations have alta beauty inside but they did um put tar uh, alta beauty into target and i love it i love it um they have a lot of stuff this is at sephora too as well so if you want to grab you this at sephora then you can okay a pump love a pump i started to pick up a new brush set i should have when i saw it Cause I don't know if this is going to be good on a, a beauty blender or better on a brush, but let's test it out. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is my exact sh Let me shut up. Let me just keep applying. Because I'm a little too hype. The coverage. Now, I know I may look, I may look a little orange right now, but... Trust me, bear with me. I, I got faith in this foundation. I always get foundations that's a little bit darker than me. Um, I always do that. This was the only foundation that was gonna go for me, honestly, because they didn't really have a lot, a lot of different ones to choose from. They just did it. I'm just be real. They did not. So I had to grab something close enough and this is my closest shade definitely feel like during the summer this is going to be 10 times more my shade because this is making me look a little bit darker i would say um i don't know if it's going to oxidize i'm not sure if it's going to oxidize and look even more and then turn even more darker then that's really going to be some shit because right now i'm kind of pale i have no tan happening so this would be perfect for the summer but i love the coverage of this i like how the finish of it is not too matte it's more of a velvet matte very soft to the skin it doesn't feel like i have much on it's perfect so i love i love the way it feels so let's go into the concealer so i picked up the tarte shape tape contour concealer and this is the number one concealer brand as you guys can see eyes can see right there okay I picked this up at Target Alta too <laughs> with the foundation and I have this in the shade tan deep sand this was the last shade in this so gotta be good because all of them were gone so so far that swipe this seems like it's gonna be like super full coverage like not a game oh baby okay i ain't gonna put it nowhere else i'm gonna just go under my eyes first let's see how this how this look fingers crossed y'all look at my hand it looks so different from my face Look at my neck. Okay. I gotta chill. Probably gonna be sitting this back. Or I'll just keep it for the summer. Because I'm looking real like I just came from getting a bad tan. Hmm. Gonna apply a 
little bit more. So since this foundation is really dark, I'm going to make sure that I'm moving this around. I'm taking this concealer and I'm kind of going in this motion because I want everything to balance. This is a technique I do when my foundation is way too dark. Y'all can hear sirens every time I film. Take some more. And this is just going to balance out everything and level everything because as y'all can see this is dark here the foundation is dark and it's not matching with my neck so I'm just taking that concealer and I'm kind of trying to make sure that this balance you know I know it's gonna look crazy in the beginning but I promise you it's gonna come together don't come together, trust me. I'm spreading out the foundation more on my forehead too. Let's see. Okay. Period. Okay, so far it's looking okay. I can keep going on and on with this this concealer, y'all. I don't know why. Do not judge me. I love the coverage of it. Y'all ready for the next? Ah, y'all ready for the next one? Are you ready? Are you ready? Next we have. I picked up some uh, some um some um some um powder. <clears throat> some powder. I picked up powder. Y'all know how I feel about powder. <laughs> it's so tricky for me. This is by Makeup Forever. I got this at Sephora. I got the HD setting powder. And I got it in Golden Beige 3.0. Um, heard great things about this. It was like top notch, D-bomb. This is actually my first purchase from uh, Makeup Forever. Woo! very first purchase it comes with this cute puffer puffer thing so I'll probably keep this in my bag so like you know freshen up with you know how the girls do it on the movies when they be I never use this but I actually think I will like it some materials are good this one seemed very soft usually when I touch up if I get oily during the day it's usually in my t-zone so I'll probably just right there I had opened this when I got home but I never used it okay I didn't use it yet but I did open it and I realized one thing I like about it is that it comes off like this where you don't have to lose this part of your of your top you know so I actually love this I don't know what it is about it but I love it even sure if I should bake or use my brush but I just went right in I don't really bake I just use my beauty blender for my um, for my powder setting powder and your girl just went right in so let me take my brush ASAP and start to just This makes me nervous because like once you set it is it's really no going back once it's on it's on okay okay I need to let it 
I don't know yet. Like, I like the finish, but I also have questions about the finish if it's going to make me have a cast or something. Like, it's super, it's definitely HD. And it's definitely high quality type of foundation. But sometimes these high quality foundations be doing too much. Where it be so much high quality to the point where it just be like, is it going to give me flashback? Because it's so rich in quality. And that's the reason why I love my Maybelline Fit Me. Because, in, I don't know, it's just something about that. Like, that would be forever an OG fave. I think everybody loved that uh, setting powder. I still have to use my setting spray too. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation powder to set the rest of my face with. Okay, I'm going to use this. And I have this in the shade Hazelnut 330. I only need a little bit of this uh, of this powder foundation. Just a little bit. That's it. For contour, I'm going to use my Morphe AR That's Rich palette. I'm not going to go on my forehead today for my contour. I feel like it's already uh, pretty much has some definition up there from like the foundation and then the concealer. So I don't need to contour on my forehead. I'm going to use the blush from in here too as well. So I use both of these as my contour. I went in with this one first, then I used this one which is a little deeper. I'm going to use this for my blush. Okay, since things are pretty much coming together, I can kind of see where the what the um powder kind of looks like you know what i'm saying do my nose for contour i'm gonna use go back to my truth or dare palette truth or bear did i say truth or dare in the beginning it's truth or bear sorry and um i'm gonna go in with that brown that last brown i took in my crease and take it underneath here this thing on TikTok where somebody I, I'm like that is so clever cause like I always say I really don't have bottom lashes I kinda like camouflage it to make it look like I got a lot of lashes down here but she took some tweezers and then she she puts some of the mascara on the tweezer and then she goes in between say, say for instance my nails are the tweezers she goes in between and just like pulls her lash down, pulls a lash down, pulls a lash down, pull a lash down. So now it makes it seem like she has on bottom lashes. I don't know if that made, just made sense. I don't feel like getting up to go get my, um, to get some tweezers. I really don't. So I'm going to just do what I do. <laughs> like I always do. Um, but I thought that was just so interesting. So interesting. So what I do is I just... Go in between, go in between, go in between. Like, so basically, it looked like it's like I'm creating dots, but it's an illusion, you guys, that it's like bottom lashes. And remember, if y'all OG, remember I used to do bottom lashes? I actually wore bottom lashes. Um, I need to get back on that because I definitely feel like I was the trendsetter for that. Not trying to, you know. <laughs> 
sound cocky or nothing, but I'm just saying. I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Mist, uh, and then I'm going to do my highlight and lips. I think we're good for this look. Hold on. Hold up. What I forgot to pick up was me some more of my lip liner. I actually was supposed to pick up some new lip liner. Because I'm always using the NYX. Look. This is how much I love it. <laughs> this is how much I love this NYX matte downtown beauty liner. So far so good as far as the coverage in the powder the way it's sitting on my skin honey i think i think she's a winner give me some time i'm still soaking it in i'll be overlining my lips y'all especially my top lip gotta make the girls look juicy and full okay so so for my lips, I'm going to use my NYX lingerie push-up, and this is in the color Lace Detail. One thing I like about this is because it stays on all day. It is matte. And then when I top my gloss over it, it just sticks. I'm going to use my Milani. I haven't used this in a while. I've used the soft rose but i haven't used the natural luster this is a really pretty shade really pretty shade right kind of goes with my eyes have a lot of gold in here which i love Y'all, I think I love this. Look at my face. It's sitting. My face is sickening right now. All right, of course, my ultimate fave. I'm topping it over. This is the last of gloss. MAC Dazzle Glass in the shade Dress to Dazzle. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot my highlight. What highlight am I doing? I'm just going to use my go-to favorite, which is the uh, MAC Flare for Dramatic Highlight. Okay, this is what I'm going to use. Just because I'm feeling it, I'm putting some there. Yep, I am. I know I haven't been doing that in a while. Baby, I look good. I look good. I need to take, I have a slight headache and I need to take something right now. Seriously. I'm using this shade here that went in my tear duct, you guys. Very pretty. Now it's time for this hair. We're about to finish this hair. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's really nothing special, too special. Look at my face. Look at my face. I mean, look at this wing. This is what I mean by saying my face needs to be shown in my vlog when I was saying I got some new products to show y'all but it need to be shown this is what I'm talking about baby I was not gonna sit here and not, and not have nothing to do sitting on this on this beat face alright y'all let me fix my hair real quick and I'll be right back okay y'all oh, shit alright you guys so I'm ready and I'm wearing a denim um, dress. Okay. This is how I did my hair. And these are my boots. I'm wearing some thigh-high Chucky boots. 
Okay, this is this is the vibe for tonight. I did have some red boots, but it's so cold here in Chicago right now, y'all. And I felt like I needed to cover my leg completely. Like, the boots are similar. Like these, same type of heel. They're red. And it stops to, like, right here. So, I'm like, I have on a dress skirt. A dress skirt. And I don't know how that's going to look. It's cold outside, and I'd rather cover my legs. My fragrance is Valentino tonight. I got a migraine, y'all. And I need to take something for it. Well, I did. I took something for it, but, like, you know how it's still there? Girl, don't you do not break on me tonight. I swear. Nails be acting a fool when you about to get go out. Like you've been holding steady all week. And they ain't been going I ain't been out. And now when I wanna go out, you wanna loosen up on me? I swear, bruh. At least let me take a picture first and then fall off. Oh shit. Being a bad bitch. Ain't for everybody. Okay, it's not. These are the boots. The stress, the stress is old. And I'm like, let me wear it today. Let me switch it up. I haven't worn this dress. I probably had this for like two years, damn near. And where did I get this from? Probably Forever Between One or like Akira. I cannot remember. What? Well, no. I think this was this this was Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, baby. I'm about to smoke a little a bit of my blunt, cause that helps relax, ease my mind. I like I said, I got like a slight headache. Let me show y'all my bag. I'm wearing my Kurt Gagger. This is my second bag from him. Um, they're London based, I believe, and black owned. So. Look at this. I love the color detail. So it's a black bag, but you also get like a pop of color on the handle, which I love. And yes, yes. First, let me wipe my blunt. Oh shit. What the hell? What the hell was that? Just burnt my goddamn self. What was that? And then lastly, this is the jacket that I'm wearing. The original one that I want to wear, I cannot find for some odd ass reason. It's like this. Y'all see it? Hopefully y'all can see. Okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this get ready with me as much as I did. I really love my makeup. I don't think I'll be taking anything back. But let's see how it lasts all night. <coughs> see you baby dolls in my next video. Mwah.